down there and, and get a victory. Does it, geography-wise, I'm not sure, but that's also, Lubbock's kind of a way out there, so it's yeah. a little, uh, how far a drive will that be for your family? Um, it's, it's about seven hours from where yeah. I'm from, which yeah. mm -hmm. it's crazy to think that it's still in Texas, that it's <laughs> over half the time that it takes to get here. But, um, I mean, it's, they'll all make it anyways. I mean, it's just. What, uh, now Coach mentioned something, you had a car wreck before, kind of, kind of take us through that a little bit. Of, before you got joined the team and all, you kind of, was it a back or something? Yeah, yeah. I, um, uh, I was make I was going straight and uh, this girl turned, she turned it right in front of me and um, she, it was her second time driving. She was brand new. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was, I was coming up here that weekend for a camp and um, got in a wreck and I was in the hospital for a couple hours. But um, I had really bad whiplash and stuff like that. Nothing extremely serious. This is back home. This is happening. Yeah, this was back at home. Back a little bit. How many favors have you already called in for tickets? Oh, I've called. I've asked maybe five guys for extra tickets, and that's just. I mean, it's just Monday. That's just the start. So it'll, yeah. it'll be a lot more later on in the week. You you recruited by Texas Tech at all? Uh, I was recruited, but I wasn't offered by them. Okay. No. Where did you have offers from, and what kind of made you you know decide to commit to Iowa State as early as you did? I had an offer from Kansas State, uh, Houston. Um, here and then Kansas, um, but I really like the, the atmosphere here, and uh, I came for the Iowa game, which would have been my senior year, and it wasn't a very good game, but uh, just the atmosphere and, and the offense, and I love all the coaches here, um, and I saw the potential that that this team has, and that was that really swayed my decision. What is Coach Herman like maybe game day as far as is he a calming voice or very analytical or what what is Coach Herman like? Take us through what his um, personality traits. Well in front of the team he's really he's really this this hard, tough guy. Yeah. But around the quarterbacks he's he's calm and, and collected because that's how he wants us to be. He doesn't want to get us rattled before the game. So he um I mean he likes to calm us down. He he's he likes to make some jokes but um other than that, he's, he's just serious, but he's, he's laid back. So much has been made of, uh, I guess, for you guys this year, the turnover mm -hmm. issues that you've had. Well, what can you do now that you're in that spot to make sure that you guys aren't putting the ball on the ground and you're not throwing it away like you have? Um, I mean, you gotta make you got to make the right decisions with the ball in your hand. And, and uh, when you get hit, you got to hold on to it. I mean, it's, it's really just as simple as that. But um, that's just something that we really have to, we really have to work on. And, uh, We've been putting a lot of emphasis on that in practices. Similarly, with the drop passes, like we've been an issue. If the receivers start catching that, what does that kind of add to the offense? Um, it 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 allows for big plays to happen, and um, once the once the pass game starts opening up, then the defense will drop, and and it'll allow for our running game to open up. So that'll, I mean, once once we get we once we get to clicking um, in all aspects, then this this offense will really explode. How Jump. close are you to getting to clicking? Uh, um, I see it's just uh, looking at the Texas A&M film. It was it was one or two plays, and we were we were away from uh, really opening up that game, and and I think that's how it's been all season. Uh, just one or two plays here and there, and and um, like not having these turnovers that uh, were were really close. Josh had uh, career highs in pretty much every category on Saturday with you throwing him the football. Do you have like a Special connection to him, or was that just coincidence that he was open a lot? I would just um, to... Josh is a great route runner, and uh, he was he was he was able to get open, and he found my eyes, and uh, once he did get the ball in his hands, he was able to make the explosive play and, and make guys miss and break tackles and stuff like that. So um, he did that himself. He was he he was he did a great job on Saturday. Do you, uh, given the fact that you know with Jerome, it sounds like when he comes back, he's probably going to be a wide receiver. Given that. You're right, sir, for a freshman where you're at right now. Are you looking at this as the beginning of an opportunity to say, hey, I can be a three-and-a-half-year starter here? Uh, I, I do. Um, but, I mean, I have to keep working. There's there's guys coming in, and, um, I mean, they're, they're obviously going to be good, and I'm going to have to maintain the way that I play to, to keep my position. But, um, I mean, I have to take it just one year at a time and one game at a time. Coach just talks about your calm exterior and you project that all the time. What's going on inside for a snap, 
first significant time? I mean, there's got to be something. Uh, there's a lot of jitters, um, a lot of jitters and a lot of excitement. But uh, I've been able to control that so that on the field I, I, I am poised and calm. And um, I, I, I put that a lot to, to work and practice, uh, working on how calm I am in the pocket. And um, it, it really allows me to, to make the right decisions with the ball in my hands. With that calm thing in mind, for about a quarter and a half, Coach Rhodes was really in the ear of that side judge. Do you guys get to look back later and make fun of him, like in the film room? I mean, after the fact. Or, um, I mean, when, or, and what's that mean to you guys to see how much he fights for you guys too? Uh, when what? when you're on the field, you can, I mean, you look up at the jumbo china and, and you see Coach Rhodes is going at it. Um, it's an awesome feeling to know that he's fighting for you, to know that that um, he sees what you see and and that he does think that um, you're being cheated in some sort. Um, and that's a great feeling. I mean, Coach Rose is a great guy, and he's always going to fight for us. There's a uh, – he talked some about you last week, I know, with the, how you're specifically good at running the zone read. Uh, you had a lot of success with that against Texas A&M. How do, you, how do you become good at that, I guess? Can you kind of walk us through the specifics on uh, – It's just – it's something that I've been doing since high school. Mm -hmm. uh, we ran the zone read a lot. And uh, I got a lot of work at it then, and, and we do it a lot now in mm -hmm. practice. And um, just a lot of work and uh, being able to read your keys and, and make quick decisions with the ball. Very layman sense, you know, because we, we know what the zone read is. But from a quarterback's eyes, it's basically seeing which way the, the defense is going and you counter it, right? Yeah, you got to explain it if you could. Yeah, you got to read the defense, uh, the, the backside in. If if he uh, triggers on the runner, then you, you, you keep it and you get downhill. And, if he comes straight at you, then uh, you got to give it to your running back and let him make the play. Is, is it tough for um, – maybe I should ask a running back this, but is, is it more difficult for a running back when you switch quarterbacks? Because I assume everybody does it a little bit differently. Um, or does it matter for you and a different running back in the game, I guess? Uh, different different guys, different, uh, different running backs have different steps, and mm -hmm. um, they make bigger pockets or smaller pockets, and uh, they run at a different tempo. And it just – you have to – you have to get that connection with those guys. And um, every day in practice, we work with multiple running backs so that no matter who's in the game, we still have that same connection. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, man. No problem. Can, can you, oh, can I just one more really yeah, quick? Fine. Really quick. Just back to that car accident. Mm -hmm. Did you know the person to cause the wreck? You said it was their second time driving. No, I didn't. She, um, that came out. Yeah, she she was, through, yeah, I guess she was following um, She was following her parents to a restaurant to celebrate that she had gotten her okay. license. And, oh. and wow. they, uh, I was, she just pulled out right in front of me, and, and uh, I, I got her right in the side. Wow. But that was just how many days before you came up here for that? Uh, it was, I believe that it happened on a... On a Tuesday, and we left Friday, uh, Friday afternoon to come up here. Okay. Yes, okay. sir. Well, hey, thanks, man. I appreciate no it.